Hi friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we will learn how to implement a stack using a single queue. So the problem is very clear. We will be implementing a stack using a queue. So let's first discuss about stacks and queues. A stack is first in last out, which means the element which goes in first comes out at the last. In this, we push the elements at the top and also pop the elements at the top whereas a queue is first in first out which means the element which goes in first gets out first we enqueue the elements at rear and dequeue at the front so in this problem we will go be going from first in first out to first in last out so let's discuss the algorithm to this problem let x be the element to be pushed and the size of q be s so to perform the push operation we first enqueue x into the q then one by one we dequeue s elements from the q and then enqueue them again to pop we simply dequeue one element from the q so let's work our algorithm on an example to make things clear let's assume our q to be this with 1 at front and 5 at rear the length of the queue is clearly 5 now let's assume we have to push 6 into the stack so following the algorithm we enqueue 6 into our queue so our queue becomes this since we insert elements at the end in queues now according to algorithm we dequeue five elements from the queue and enqueue them one by one so we first dequeue one and enqueue it again so our queue becomes this now we dequeue two and enqueue it again so our queue becomes this now we continue this for 3 4 and 5 at last our queue becomes this this is exactly the same result if we had pushed 6 into a stack so clearly this queue is working as a stack by using this algorithm now suppose we wish to pop one element from the stack from the queue following our algorithm we dequeue an element from our queue the dequeued element is 6 therefore we can clearly see that on using the algorithm our queue works as stack let's look at the implementation of this problem in c++ to push an element first we calculate the length of the queue and then we enqueue the element to be pushed into our queue after this we dequeue s elements from the queue and enqueue them one by one to pop we simply dequeue one element from the queue the time complexity to push is o of n since we are performing operations on the entire queue so we have to iterate through it the time complexity to pop one element is o of 1 since we are just using dq operation for it this brings us to the end of this tutorial thank you for watching please leave us your likes and comments in the comment section